On a February evening in 2019, a 48-year-old disabled woman had settled in her room at San Diego's Rio Vista Healthcare Center when a caregiver entered and allegedly raped her. The reported incident is documented by the California Department of Public Health under enforcement actions on its CalHealth Find website. But you have to dig deep to find it. The main complaint page describes the attack as simply substantiated employee to resident abuse. That CDPH page, which tallies complaints, is meant to help people find safe nursing homes. But instead, KPBS found mislabeling and errors, especially in sexual abuse complaints. CDPH largely did not respond to multiple questions about how it documents the claims. Lawyer Scott Fikes, who has represented nursing home sexual assault victims, believes the inaccuracies on CDPH's complaint website are deliberate. I view it as evidence that on an institutional level, the Department of Health is more concerned with obscuring actual information that suggests employees may be engaging in sexual assault than they are in accepting that reality in providing that information to the public. Fikes points to the Matthew Flukiger case as an example. Flukiger is a former caregiver who was convicted of multiple sex crimes against one woman and pleaded guilty to sexually assaulting two others in East County nursing homes. Yet CDPH's complaint website does not classify any of those attacks as sexual in nature. The website also listed one of the cases as unsubstantiated, even though its own licensing division confirmed the incident, and the page erroneously described Flukiger as a resident. Tony Chikatel with California Advocates for Nursing Home Reform says the mislabeling of the Flukiger case is consistent with what he calls CDPH's hostile indifference toward nursing home sexual abuse. He says the errors are inconsistent with a widely held view that CDPH's complaint website is transparent. If a jury convicted this person of having done this heinous thing beyond a reasonable doubt, and it's not on the transparency website, or it's very inaccurately portrayed on the transparency website, then I think we need to go back to the drawing board on what transparency means. The agency's website lacks transparency in other ways. KPBS reviewed sexual abuse complaint lists for all 84 nursing homes in San Diego County on CDPH's website. From 2019 through September 10, 2022, state regulators substantiated at least 24 sexual abuse cases at 18 local nursing homes, but the watchdog did not cite nursing homes with deficiencies in a majority of those cases. No deficiencies means no details are made public. San Diego patient safety advocate Marion Hollingsworth said the ultimate effect is no accountability. This sends a message to the facility that no matter what they do, they're going to be just fine. Uh, they won't even have to create a care plan to show that this will never happen again. There's more. CDPH often does not identify on its complaint website whether an accused perpetrator of sexual abuse at nursing homes is an employee or resident. CDPH did respond to this issue in an email saying, quote, the allegation category does not differentiate between types of alleged abusers, as all cases of abuse are prioritized under the same level of severity. But Chikatel argues the roles of accused abusers matter. Resident on resident, that's terrible. It should never happen. But it's usually sort of a flash event, a very short-lived incident, whereas Staff on resident sexual abuse is usually more sustained. He says it's also more predatory and damning of a nursing home's quality of care. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Amitha Sharma, KPBS investigative news reporter. If you want to see more videos like this, you want to see more news like this, like this video and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.